Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to the next episode review of Dana Dan. Dan Dana Dan. And episode two and uh, you know, as far, as far as this is terrible with uh, with our main character Ken. Of course, with Momo, you know her, since you found his real name is actually the name that the of the name that, that she wants to the kind of guy that she wants to kinda of date though, but she's like um, I'm gonna call you by this name, Okana, whatever it was, um, Okana, I think it was. So, cause, cause she's gonna be reminded that's his real name, so, I'm gonna call you this name, okay? But, um, but the whole curse thing, cause, cause when, it, when she gets to, okay, when she gets to her house, of course, her house is a shrine, cause her mom, her, her grandmother is a priestess, basically. He tries to cross through the through the open uh, uh, gate, right? Well, the open, uh, you know, those concrete things that's above, above where shrines are. He tries to pass through it. He ends up, ends up instantly getting burned because they have a. She has a um one of those um. Uh, protective barrier papers, you know those um. What were they? What were they called? Tal paper talismans, you know, to put, put to put up barriers with. So he he instantly gets instantly gets burned, and she uses her like her, I guess psychic powers to push him into the into the stream there, and his hat now his hair is all puffy like an afro. And so she she she, she, she so she takes the paper off, go, goes to her house, and I like, the, I like how this um camera does almost like a one uh, almost a full um. <clears throat> 360 because it shows how big her her house is, and so goes into her room, completely a completely girly room, and um, pays and she says, "Hey, turn around, you know." And and then also like uh, um, well first of all since the since now this the he's been he's been possessed you know cursed by the turbo granny, he he, he tells him to look down and he has no. He's got no weenie. <laughs> he has no manhood. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, what? You know, part of me thinks that part of me thinks that the way things are going, unless towards the end of the series, you know, <laughs> I part of me thinks that maybe he shouldn't get his manhood back, though. You know, part of me thinks like <laughs> because just as he has this, this, because he does get this, because this curse does give him this power, you know, this strength, you know, but. And of course, also the appearance of when he transforms. When they fight this giant sumo wrestler, basically, um, the jawline where it shows like the teeth, it, it shows like the teeth all the way around. It does give me, it does give me like vibes of Kaiju Number Eight. You know, like when um, you know when Kafka transforms, right? He has like the jaw, of the all the teeth showing, right? It kind of give me like the for the kind of like the vibes of how Wade Transformers becomes sort of like that, you know, from uh, Kafka's uh, kaiju form. It did like the design of it kind of give me like, those kind of vibes. And plus, you know, since um, then I think that the, the but like the chemistry between the two of them are getting a little bit are getting better because well, because you know, Kenny, you know, the reason why she stepped in because you know, because he was being bullied, you know, but. Kenny you know, didn't have many, many, many friends, so he took uh, took that initiative when when she stepped in. She kind of like wanted to be a, be be uh be friends with her, so because he doesn't have many too many friends because you know of his probably personality, but 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 he here he thought of her. He could she can at least uh, make a uh, make a friend here, you know, because and with. Of course, with Momo, you know, with the whole thing she was being teased of, you know. We saw from the first episode when her grandma was teaching her the ritual stuff, and she was teased for that. And uh, as like they're they're both like in a way somewhere some are sort of the same personalities, you know. But I'm sure that later in the series, uh, their their chemistry get uh, their bond. You could say would get me much get them much closer, you know. So. <sighs> So after that, the, the, they, they sense the pre presence of a dark figure outside the door, and then Momo realizes the the talisman paper that she was using to protect the, the 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 property. Right, she took it off. It's right there on the table, and now they're in big trouble because now like this big, huge like this concrete barrier. Um, 
is now being formed, and it's now this big old giant space. This giant super wrestler comes in. This a it's this alien, and which they probably which it kind of like you know maybe spirits maybe spirits ghosts and aliens are so much alike you know, <laughs> and. And it was it was it was a fun it was a fun fight you know I mean of course when when um when Ken transforms into this, this Turbo Granny right of course he has limits because his body can't take much of using it too much because his body won't be able to take too much of it but uh, eventually he does he just show he just cut like the, he does cut like the tips of, of the of its finger uh, uh, its fingers of one hand off and Momo she's just. I mean, maybe maybe make the excuse because of her psychic powers, you know, whatever. But she was getting a total beating, and she was pinned against the concrete wall. She was getting big beaten fast, you know, fisted. Well, okay, that's turned wrong, but you know, she was getting beaten, beaten by the by the one fist, just like multiple times. I'm like, is she is she a human, or maybe because her psychic powers is probably making her withstand that impact, though, right? Because if she was a human. Of course, she'd be dead, though. But she was taking a brutal beating. But because it's like it's, it's, it's like a, it's, it realizes it's like a sumo wrestler, and it's kind of like made of I think they say it made of water, I think. But um, but like if it touches hand, his hand touches the ground, it kind of like melts. So she helped use the psychic powers because you know, she also uses her psychic powers to control um Ken's um. His power, his trans, his his curse power. So, but he does manage to cuff one hand. It does seem to seem to be working. Then it's making it fall down and touches the other one uh, to the ground, and it starts melting. And ultimately, it burns up. You know, so and just when 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 it's destroyed, everything goes. The whole property goes back to the way it was. No damage at all. And so, since like, cause since Momo, um. Use up so much of her power, she just you know use up so much energy, she just passes out. And then since she's not conscious of to control his curse, you know, Ken's curse, he starts to lose control, and then it ends with cup cuts uh, with him his gra turbo granny form, just almost like hovering over her. So, but episode two though, um, now with the first was the first episode better? Yes. I would say because, um, I would say episode two. I wouldn't say like tame. I would say, but I would say for episode one was still better because you know how it started this whole wild craziness though. But but episode two though, now we see well like well more what um what Ken can do in this form. But the thing is, though, it takes a huge toll on him, and she has to control his curse with her with her powers, you know, and and more because uh, also the because of the because because now they had um well the the the, the sumo wrestler um uh, says oh, I want your banana like like the alien said to her like those aliens were saying to her when they were abducting her right before they were trying to do things to her I want your banana too so I guess they. They all have the still because these aliens all have the same all have the same goal. I say they say, but um, <laughs> but funny thing is like is that Ken, he has no manhood. Part of me is like, like maybe he should just, maybe he should just go. Well, first of all, he has no if he has no manhood, how does he go to the bathroom then, huh? That's the question. If he has no manhood, how does he go to the bathroom? But I don't know. I don't know so maybe they'll bring. Maybe they'll come into play like later. I was like, "Hey, how much was he? How much was how much? How much was he use the bathroom?" But it's been a, it's been fun. It's still a fun episode though, because I think this this show has been. I think later further in the series, the crazies will be amped up and more with the aliens and the spirits and stuff though. But I'm sure that the and also including the bond between Momo and Ken will. Uh, their, their their chemistry will be will bring them closer, you know. And now, of course, will the romance thing starts uh, down the line? Maybe though, if it if the series will continue longer though. But 
But overall, yeah, uh, uh, episode two of Dan and Dan, it's been good. It's been good, you know. I'm really looking forward to watching more of uh, uh, more episodes of this. So yeah, it is. It's like, hey, will this will this guy get his manhood back at, before this series ends? We'll have to wait and see, though. But part was like, maybe he shouldn't though. <laughs> As that that is, but that would be funny still though. But yeah, but episode two was was good though. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more to come for Halloween month and more movie reviews. Because I'm getting close to. Uh, I was getting. I was pretty close to, again to um, ending my pre-recording. So. Um, but then after that, just wait how October goes though. So, Bobby, but there's still more movie reviews coming up, and um, see you next time. Right, later.